What's up YouTube? Today I got permission to metal detect an old, uh, really old, like well over 100 years old farm here in my area. So uh, we're gonna swing the detector over it and uh, see if we can pull up anything interesting. All right, we've got something over here. Should be pretty close to the surface. So let's see if I can just brush my pinpointer along and find it. Okay, we're reading something right over in here. Ooh, nice change of pace. The ground's a lot easier to dig here. So let's see what we can come up with. There we go. Oh, it's a coin. It's another Lincoln. 19, looks like 1971 this time. Pretty solid signal here. Something close relatively to the surface. Oh, well, picking something up on the pinpointer right there. Let's see if we can just pop it out. Oh, oh I see it. It is another coin. It's another Lincoln penny. This time much newer. This is in the 2000s, it looks like, unfortunately. Well, I dug my uh, first nickel of the day just now. Looks like it's a... Uh, 1994 maybe. Alright, we got a solid signal in the low 80s here. This could be, could be something good. We'll find out. Peel this back a bit. Put. Oh yeah, I'm hitting something right away with the pinpointer. Looks like it's a little bit further down into the hole. I popped it out. It's got to be here. No, oh, there we go. Oh, it's another another penny. Is it a weedy? Nope, 1976. Unfortunately, not a weedy. All right, this signal's kind of bouncing all around, but we're going to try it anyway. Watch out, Daisy. <laughs> Watch out. Watch out, girl. Oh, wow, I did not think that was going to be a coin. It was reading really low, but it's uh, it's busted up. It looks like it's just, it's just a Lincoln penny, but it's uh, it's actually got a chunk of it taken off of it. This here's kind of neat. This, uh, I think this might be like a heart-shaped uh, cookie cutter or something to that effect. It's definitely looking like it's a little bit mangled, but it's definitely looking like it was something heart-shaped some type of uh, kitchen utensil. It's kind of neat. Well, I was hesitant to uh, dig this one because it seemed like it might uh, just be a big piece of junk, but it actually turned out to be pretty cool. We got a uh, big chunk of a plow here. Um, looks like one of the uh, one of the tilling tines. So cool, good find. All right, we got a target in the low 80s right over here. Looks like about medium depth. I think that one is worth worth a dig. Let's see what we can come up with. Pull back that plug and get the pinpointer in there. Oh, I actually already see it. Don't even need the pinpointer. And unfortunately, it is a Lincoln penny. Uh, 1964 at least. So at least we're working our way back. At least this one here is uh, full copper. Must have been why it registered so high. Cool. Definitely not old. This is modern, but this here was just kind of sitting on the surface back here in what must have been like a a dumping site at one point. Looks like the uh, top to a uh, yeah top to a 4-H trophy or something. Huh? Cool. All right, so we're in relic zone now. Uh, just found an old brass doorknob. Well. Don't know how old, I bet it's relatively modern actually, but we must be at an old dumping site for sure, finding this and uh, that piece to the horse trophy and a couple other minor things back here. Well, cool. All right, so I just pulled this up and it uh, doesn't look like it has any of the mirror left on it, but uh, this is definitely a very old, uh, what looks to be a rear view mirror to something. So that's a cool little relic, I suppose. 
All right, I got a blaring signal over here in the horse paddock. Whoa, that is a really strong low 80s signal. Yeah, well. I'm picking it up on the surface, so it can't be too deep. Uh, hopefully it's nothing terribly big. Oh, come on. Well, I guess it's just a... Uh, ointment <laughs> yeah it is too it's a tube a tube of some type of horse ointment or... all right we got a good high tone here in the mid 80s mid to high 80s looks like it's a good depth down i'm thinking so we're gonna see if we can pull something good up oh there there we go, from the sounds of it, it's in the plug. So that's a good start. Oh, here we go, it's definitely, oh, it's not a coin like I thought it was. It's a, it's a ring, but not like a ring for wearing. It must be like, a, Something for a horse saddle or a horse bridle or something, I'm thinking. Or a dog oh. collar. Or to a dog collar, maybe. Oh, cool find either way. I'm trying to preserve memory and uh, uh, battery on the GoPro, but I, uh, I hit this and seen the gleam, so I figured I would uh, fire up the video camera. I'm pretty sure that this is lead, and I'm not exactly sure what it is yet, but it's all folded together. Huh, that's uh, that's really interesting. Maybe they had it for repair. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. But in any case, cool. That's lead. Good find. Here's a good relic find. I'm uh, not exactly sure what this is. It looks uh, threaded, partially, not on all sides, uh, with some type of nut at the end, some type of uh, yeah, and then a hex head with some really good writing on it. It says. It's really legible. It says Kearney 2-0 STR patent number 1947-867. I'll have to look that patent number up and see what that is. That's pretty cool. All right, so here's the wrap up. Um, I was hoping to find some silver. I know there's got to be silver coins out on that farm, so I think I'll go out and hunt it again. I mean, it's a pretty big area, and I've probably only really gone over maybe about 10% of it at this point. So uh, I might do another video at some point if I'm able to pull some silver up out of there. But uh, for today, it was a good day for relics. Um, I ended up with uh, this uh, mirror, which is pretty much scrap metal, but still kind of cool. Uh, that heart-shaped piece of... Uh, kitchen utensil looks like maybe a, a biscuit tin or something like that and then this which actually was really cool has a uh, pretty good writing on it and uh, now that i got it cleaned up and uh, talked a little bit to the uh, the owner of the farm it's actually uh for splicing wires together uh two watt so that makes sense uh still a pretty cool find uh pure copper um this top to a horse trophy which turned out to be uh probably in my opinion the best find even though it was a surface find didn't even find it with the metal detector um this piece of lead was uh kind of a cool find as well and then this i'm i'm thinking this is pretty old actually this is like a little uh brass ring or a copper ring um got to be for something horse related i'm sure it's definitely uh over in the horse paddock so wouldn't surprise me if it's something to a bridle or reins or something uh, found nine modern pennies. Well, one of them, the oldest being 1964, a uh, couple of dimes from the 70s, uh, one from the 70s, one from the 80s, and then a somewhat modern nickel. Um, then the farm utensil there in the doorknob. So uh, yeah, some interesting relics, but uh, nothing, uh, nothing worth writing home about, I don't think yet. But I know that there's probably got to be some silver coins out there. So one of these days when I got some more free time and the weather's nice, we'll hunt it again. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and consider becoming a subscriber to my channel. Um, I appreciate it. Thanks.